today we got a circuit, quick 30 minutes, be a quick 30 minute circuit, and then uh, do a little cardio after, do a little running, just keep the weight on point, land the plane. Saturdays are kind of a pretty quick, light day. We got the legend Nick Lentz running it. So we just kind of warm up, go through uh, some sprints on the, the bike, kind of some shadow boxing. My teammate Sean Soriano is back in the UFC fighting on the same card as me, so I've been training with him. I've had seven weeks off in the last 60 weeks. Now we're seven weeks into an eight week training camp that I had, because that was all the time that I had to prepare. It's been such a crazy, crazy year. COVID, and then obviously me signing with the UFC and then staying extremely busy. Signed in September, weighed in as the backup in October. Fought in January, now went right back into training camp a couple weeks later to fight in May. I said I only got a short window of opportunity to finish this career at the highest level. Seven days away from a dream being realized. Heading to uh, get my painting that I just got the canvas stretched. This is just a, a painting that my wife saw on the internet. That, and then when we bought a place down in Florida, we were like, hey, we should get that frog. Wasn't gonna fit in my vehicle. So good old Corey Peacock, my strength coach and friend, is gonna help me. I'm coming to pick up the frog. Yeah, as soon as I saw it, I'm going, that's cool. <laughs> You're gonna have somebody sitting back there holding on to it, right? Yeah. Okay. Can you carry it? Dang, man. I didn't think you were strong enough. I guess it is only five foot, so your, your wingspan's longer than five foot. Hopefully the paint doesn't melt. Yeah, so when I first heard about it, I was in San Diego on vacation with my family. Um, got a call on Wednesday. What would you think about fighting Charles Oliveira for the vacant lightweight title May 15th? And I said, absolutely. He didn't even finish his sentence before I said, yep. Not a lot of lead up, not a lot of, I guess, notice, but man, it's uh, an opportunity to fight for the UFC world title. You, you take that fight no matter what against who under any circumstances and feel blessed to be able to go out there and compete and here goes nothing. Mine's on. No way. Is yours? <laughs> you no way, the same, the same <laughs> ones, dude. That's Frankie the Frog. Freaking Frankie, man. Ugh. Send that to babe. I just came in with my wife from uh, California, Orange County. We like to come in a little bit earlier than everybody. We'll take Sunday off. I don't train on Sunday. We'll go to church, we'll go find a park or a zoo, and then Monday it starts, you know, so I get the weekend for her and I. Honestly, I think this fight happened because Tony said yes. I think a lot of people were saying no, including Charles, who's about to fight for the title. Can I see your ID? Yes. I'm gonna take a seat for this one, Victoria. Bro, it's the best division. It's literally the best division. And like, I got history with Diego, you know, we fought twice. I'd be happy if you won. But then at the same time, if Gregor wins, we have a new contender, a new guy to look forward to fighting. Love this, this fight's so good. Oh my gosh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 oh, this might be it. Oh, this might be it. Oh my, oh, that's a, woo. Man, this, this fight's good. Cara, é, são muitas sensações, né? São muita, muitas coisas, né? 
feliz, porque são 11 anos dentro do UFC, só dentro do UFC são 11 anos, vai fazer 11 anos agora, trabalhando, se dedicando né, a isso. Acho que todo lutador ele, ele sonha com isso, né, em ter essa oportunidade de lutar o título, e essa tão sonhada chegou, essa tão sonhada oportunidade chegou, né? Então, tô feliz com tudo que vem acontecendo. Da minha parte é uma guerra, e mandando pra frente o tempo inteiro. O meu show é dentro do octógono, não é fora, então dentro do octógono vocês podem esperar isso. Um grande show, uma grande guerra, mandando pra frente o tempo inteiro. E não importa como vai ser o nosso braço levantado no final. Cara, quando eu falo da favela venceu, eu falo no sentido de tipo, o moleque só de dentro da comunidade. É louco, estou no F. Olha, tem um lag aí, se quiser dar uma pescada, pá. Pra viver tudo que eu venho vivendo, as oportunidades que eu venho tendo, com as coisas que vêm acontecendo, eu quero mostrar pra molecada que eles podem também viver a mesma situação, sabe? Cara, tu é doido, tu já tá na piscina? Se nós estivéssemos em casa, ele gostaria de escolher esse plato. Eu gostaria de escolher esse plato. Mas nós estamos fora. Bom, o que você quer de mim? Eu não estou gastando minhas calorias e é como um egg. Okay. That was so good. I love the South. Everybody's so nice. They're not afraid to approach you and be like, "Hey, uh, how you doing? And what are you doing here?" And then, and then, too, like if you respond, they'll have a genuine con conversation with you. I, I just don't see that. Uh, I just don't see that a lot in California. I like it. I like peaceful things. I'm pretty much slow moving in all things I do, except for training and fighting. It's like a Mother's Day thing, I guess. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. You haven't done all the hard work yet, but happy Mother's Day. What is that supposed to mean? Giving birth, changing diapers, doing all that. That sounds like your job. We can share that. I'm not saying we're not going to share it. I'm just saying you haven't done any of the hard work yet. So far, all you do is eat. That, that sounds. <laughs> that sounds like the life. Ah, oh, makes me miss my dog. All right, boys. Okay, let's get this done. It's about one o'clock. Late night, we're gonna do a little shakeout. We drove here actually from uh, California, so every, ga every gas stop, everybody's like, what the f is this guy doing over here? I'm all lifting, running, doing all a bunch of sprints. We're getting in trouble. We gotta jam out. <laughs> we head out. It's gotta be light. 1 30 in the morning right now. This is light work. This is light work, people. Scratch two days, man. We're talking non stop all day, every day. met anybody as much as a beast and monster as him, man. Puts me to shame, honestly. Three, two, three, thank you! 